So I made it to the post office this morning and there were a few things in there so I gotta show you. I've already opened them. Uh, first thing, this is a, a potato masher. Yep, potato mashers. And this is a good one too. Um, I have, uh, I think I bought a cheap old plastic one when I got here. But I haven't been cooking many potatoes since I have uh, didn't have a kitchen. Now I've got a kitchen and potatoes are cheap. When I was living in Illinois, um, I, well, yeah, 10 pounds of potatoes at Aldi's. So oh, I miss Aldi's. But, uh, yeah, three bucks for 10 pounds. So I was a potato fiend. Uh, carbs are cheap, folks. Carbs are cheap. Poor people. <laughs> Poor people know carbs are cheap. So I love me some mashed potatoes. And I love, you know, you can do them in a variety of ways. You know, sour cream or cheese or you know bacon or uh, people like chives onion you can do uh, mashed potatoes all kinds of ways so this is a very good mashed potato maker that I will be using thank you alright something else that came in uh, I want to open this package up this is a five pack yeah a five pack of Gorilla Grip gloves cool yeah, you go through the, I go through these types of gloves very quickly. Um, yeah, especially, I learned my lesson, don't leave them out in the sun. <laughs> there we go, cool. These come in very useful. Yeah, I left my, uh, I had some similar to this that I left out in the sun for a few hours on the afternoon. And the, they all, the... You know, this is like a, I don't know, plastic or whatever, but it all melted together. And then when you pulled them apart, it ripped the fingers to shreds. So, so yes, I needed gloves. Thank you. And there was no note or anything in these packages, so thank you. I guess the person knows if you send them. And now we've got another t-shirt. Can we see that? Time to make biscuits. Yeah, that'll work. And it's gray. I, I do like gray. All right. And, you know, this is uh, fitting because I have a story to, set, to tell you. Um, <coughs> so last night it, uh, it was storming. It was raining. So Bob came inside and I brought Fifi inside. Okay, I've got two stories to, to tell you. So anyway, Bob spent the night in here last night. I have that bug canopy over my bed. And so Bob, uh, you know, he leaves me alone at night when he spends the night in here. Grumpy does too. But last night, in the middle of the night, Bob figured out how to get under the canopy and into the bed. And uh, yeah, he was, he was clawing at my chest with his face buried in my beard. That's what I woke up to in the middle of the night. Bob, dude, and then he, yeah, that dude, he was, uh, he was, he was wanting some scratches there in the middle of the night. So yeah, that's my story about Bob. Now Fifi, um, I've been bringing her inside against her will uh, to feed them every night. I just want to, well, it, you leave a bowl full of food out there for ten minutes and it's going to be covered in ants or bugs and stuff like that so I prefer to feed them all indoors um, I feed them you know right around seven o'clock sometime in that area so and then they they get a snack during the day also yeah I'm a I'm a sucker but yeah so I've been bringing Fifi inside and like the first ten times I brought her inside she'd eat and then she'd claw at the door and claw at the rug in front of the door and just beg to be let out so about the first 10 times I did it, she was doing that. But now she's, now she's getting more used to it in here. So I'm just trying to slowly acclimate her and let her get used to indoors here so it's not a scary thing for her. But yeah, she'll come in and eat and hang out, take a nap. Especially, well, when it's raining, I keep her in here while it's raining. And uh, she still begs me to go outside, you know, every time I get up and walk around. But she's able to go hide in the box in the corner that I have for her and take a nap also. Alright, so that's the scoop with uh, Bob and Fifi. What can I tell you about Grumpy? 
Grumpy's Grumpy likes to get under this table right in front of the window. So he's digging that more space for him to sleep on. Um, nothing. Oh, Grumpy has been well. It's uh, who? What yesterday? Yeah, yesterday he went out for a couple hours. He he. I opened the door to go out and do something, and he goes running outside and cool. With, and then he came back a couple hours later. He doesn't hang out with Bob and Fifi outside. Um, he likes, I don't know where he goes. He goes exploring somewhere. But I'd say um, only once every two or three days, Grumpy will uh, take off outside. And he just jumped up on a box I have. Uh, but other than that, he's an indoor cat and he seems to be in, enjoying it. I wish he'd go outside more often because I hate litter boxes inside. And, uh, yeah, that's another plan for the front porch in the future. Okay, enough rambling about that! Thank you once again for the gifts, the t-shirt and the potato masher and the gloves. And while I'm being thankful, I've had a few people ask about this nailer. Nail gun, whatever their official name is. This was uh, loaned to me, and I just have to tell you what a lifesaver this has been. Um, I had I had borrowed a nail gun that used the um, compressor. I don't have a compressor. I don't have my own nail gun, so I was able to borrow that. And then um, anyway. This was loaned to me, and uh, it, it's been a huge game changer. Can you imagine doing all this trim with a hammer and nails? I, I, you know, even people that are, you know, fine physical specimens would be uh, trying to avoid doing that and looking for one of these. So that's why, that's why it took me so long to get to the trim is I was, you know, uh, trying to hunt down being able to use one of these without you know buying one so this was loaned to me and here's my review it's a porter cable 20 volt lithium and it is uh yeah been very very useful this red tip has to be pressed up against something for a nail to come out so i can't just pull the trigger right now and have a nail shoot out uh, this has to be depressed in, so that's a good safety feature. And it'll do, um, see I've got one and a half inch nails in there now, and I think it'll go up to two and a half inch. Uh, did I put the two in? In any event, it'll do a variety of sizes. Um, and I, I don't know, there's a specific size, but for trim jobs, this is awesome. I don't think it won't do roofing nails and all that stuff. It only does, you know, like finishing trim nail type deal. But this has been, it's, uh, you know, kind of heavy. It's not too bad though. I couldn't use it up above my head all day long. Uh, it, it does get heavy, but it does a job and not uh, needing a compressor and running the compressor hose and uh, all that stuff. This I can just pick up you know do one or two boards or four of them like I did today and not have to go through all the rigmarole um, so this one works excellent oh yeah the one key to this when you're loading it uh, you put them down here and then slide them up well this thing uh, you can only fill it up till that point and then so that it catches on the nails so you can over overfill it and then it uh it causes problems we learned that the hard way <laughs> but uh yeah pretty cool little thing so yeah hey porter cable you got a newer version of this and want to send it to me to try out and give a review oh yeah 16 gauge it says it right on there 16 gauge so when you're buying the nails for it you know exactly what what do you need? All right. So, in addition, thanks for the stuff at the PO box. Thanks for uh, loaning me this and and well, that Speed Square has been. I got to get me one of those. I kind of have one, not at that night. Anyway. All right. Enough rambling about that. Number two and her fellow escapees.
they know when it's dinner time but I'm gonna put the food that's how I get them back in though Come on. You can do it. 